Hey everyone, it's Paul Bertarelli reporting from AirVenture 2015 where Rotax introduced a new engine, kind of a surprise. It's the Rotax 915 IS, follow on to the 912 IS. And here's a look at it with the company's Mark Becker. What we made this engine for and what will be the best um, customer base we think it will be for is basically the, based on the request we got for more power, mainly on the outer gyro, um, gyrocopter a producer for the two-seater, maybe up to the four-seater um, gyrocopter, as well for some ultralight helicopter, but also uh, for, for the fixed-wind four-seater. We already have one four-seater OEM using an A14, but we want some more, and we do get the request to have a little bit more power to get more and larger four-seater aircraft into the air. And that's where we think this engine will be the perfect fit, based on its weight, especially on its power-to-weight ratio. So we think that's going to be the engine for them to look at and have a design in order to make it a very good and reliable product in the end. The baseline for this engine is the 912 IS. After a couple of years having it on the market, we already had some good feedback on what the engine does, what that does good and what we'd like to see in addition. So based on that 912 IS concept, we decided in order to take more power, first of all add a um, turbocharger and be according intercooler to it, but also do some reinforcement in terms of there will be some reinforcement of the crankshaft, we will have some new forged pistons with oil shedding, we will have a new gearbox which will take much more torque and be able to cover all this power. All the rest, like the crankcase, pretty much is capable of handling all of that additional power. The electronics we have, the ECU from Rockwell Collins, we will do some minor changes like adding knock sensors, but the base concept pretty much works as it is. So there's not too much actually need to be done to take this 912 IS to the actual 915 IS, which we see here. Obviously, we're already working on this development for quite a while. This engine, as we have it here, or actually ran about 2,000 hours on the dyno. So now we are starting to getting into final some some actual parts and really the next plane would be so starting end of uh, beginning of next year to have some P3 engines as we call it at a phase where we can actually start some pre-installations in some of the strategic OEMs and in the middle of the year actually start with actual flight tests. So in order to start with the certification very early on in 2017, maybe even late 2016 already, so we make it in time to be available and, and as an ASTM but also as a certified engine by the second half of 2017.